We have uh, mounted the PTO on the testing bench and we are going to show you how to operate it by the control panel. So we have this diagram for connection of the control panel. We will send you two sockets. You will attach the number one here. Number two is optional. We are still going to send you. This is for activating the optional features. But number one will, will be enough. We will put it here and we will send you. So what have we done here? We have connected everything, the socket, the power cable. Also we have enumerated the valves. This is valve one, indicated. This is valve one's uh, A hoses, A hose A, A hose B. You can see here, A and B. So you will connect this hose accordingly. These are the cable numbers. You will check on the diagram the cable numbers. So we have also attached some labels on these cable numbers so that you can connect correctly. We also indicated valve number two, cable numbers, and also we have again put numbers on the cables. We will cut them and send you so that you can easily attach. On the other side, we also indicated the valve, valve number two, and A and B sides. That's okay. We are going to start the control panel now. You will say start. You will receive this screen. You will move warning. You don't have an oil sensor in this panel right now. Then you will have it to skip and this is the main screen. The main functions are listed here. F1. It means it is in the differential mode. That means the truck is moving. Now the truck is in the moving mode now. So function one, even if your operator by mistake touches F2 screen, it will show this warning, stop the vehicle to change the mode. So this is the protection this panel provides. Shaft by pressing the clutch, you can press F2. That means the vehicle is not moving, the pump is working. So when it stops, everything is here, zero, zero RPM here, then you can change to function three. That means truck is moving, you are driving, and at the same time, you are running your pumps. On both sides, you will have RPM. The truck is going and the pumps are working. This is pump and roll. On the screen, you will see the RPM from the transmission output, and here, the output on the pumps. 2.25 your ratio on the top output. This also shows the functions. You can check for details on your catalog I'm going to set. That's all. And now I'm stopping it. When I stop, it will automatically move to the driving mode. It will be F1 again. Turning off, you will wait and it will close.